So ignore the fact that I'm in Ashley's kitchen right now. It's a long story. But a couple days ago, I went with a buddy of mine to an empty whitewater park for a photo shoot. And this video is that story and the photos that came out of it. In my very little experience, I've only ever photographed kayakers on a river going through a rapid. It's awesome, it's fun, but I wanted to try something a little bit more planned and directed. Which brings me to Ira and the Great Falls Whitewater Park in South Carolina. Except there's one problem. The dam that supplies water to the park wasn't scheduled to release that day. And so instead of this, we got this. Which, believe it or not, actually made it all the more enticing for me. I would have to find ways to tell stories through visual art without the use of amazing whitewater. I would be challenged to direct my own shots and see what I could make out of this otherwise empty and barren facility. This video then is a summary of my time shooting Ira at Great Falls Whitewater Park. We started the day at Nitro Lee Access Parking Area, I'm not sure the official name of this place. And as we unloaded, I knew that I had to get as many shots as I could here because I didn't know if I'd have the water to support the rest of the shoot. The first photo I want to share is of Ira grabbing his paddle. I had seen the metal railings here near the handicap ramp and wanted to frame a shot of Ira through them. It took a little bit of shuffling around, but finally I got the shot I was looking for. I'm pretty proud of my ability to look at these metal rails and recognize the creative potential there. Uh, might not be a big deal to some of you that have done photography for a while, but for me, this, this is cool. The next shot I want to share is this one. It's 100% a product placement shot which is a thing that I need to practice anyways if I am looking to take my whitewater photography to a more professional level. I do think this shot would be a little better if I had directed Ira to pick the bag up higher. It would just attract the viewer's eye a little bit more, but I mean, it's a, it's a learning process. It's also in this shot that the limitations of the kit lens become painfully obvious. I really need to get myself some sort of prime just to blur the background out a little more and sort of related, definitely go check out Remote Designs. They make some awesome drive packs. Link is in the description. Next shot is of Ira looking at the information panel. I was looking to frame the panel in the center of the shot and then Ira in the center of the panel. This one did take a little bit of adjusting. I realized that with Ira in the middle, I wasn't going to be able to see him anymore. The boat was blocking him. So I actually had to hop on a park bench and kind of lean over to get the shot, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. Last shot before getting on the water is of Ira literally getting on the water. I wanted to show the journey of trekking through the mud, and so I placed Ira near the top of the shot with the muddy footprints leading up to it. The grossness of getting sucked down into the mud, that icky feeling, that's what I was trying to convey and portray onto the viewer, and I hope you get that same sense of feeling too. I then, of course, also had to trek through the mud, but we put on, and it's about a mile paddle-ish to get to the actual park itself. With the water so low, we weren't quite sure what to expect, or even if the channels would be runnable. So we did one quick lap on the short bypass channel, the main one, just to see if we could even make it down and do some scouting. And after that, it was photo time. For the on-water portion, I brought out the new to me Sony 70-350 to lens. This is an upgrade to my old zoom lens and it like completely blows it out of the water. The first shot I want to share here is of Ira standing next to this red pole with his boat vertically to match it and the dam in the background. I did not remember to turn my GoPro on for this, so there isn't any of those point of view shots. Sorry. But I was going for a very urban atmosphere. 
This whitewater park was constructed by humans and their machines. And so I really wanted to accentuate that gritty, concrete, urban, industrial feel. That red pole actually is a posted warning sign, which led me to what is probably my favorite shot of the day. Sorry, no point of view GoPro cam here again. Um, I knew I wanted to play around with this posted warning pole and get a shot with it somehow featured. However, I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to set up this shot until I caught Ira looking back with this scowl on his face. I don't know if this was intentional or not, but it made for the perfect shot and that scowl really just brings this photo to life. Ira then gets on the water and surfs a bit and I spent some time trying to get some white water shots, but to be honest, they're, they're not very good. The water is just so low and the feature isn't super interesting. So I take a step back and I actually stumble upon this shot. Again, the urban grittiness is felt here. The expression on Ira's face combined with the keep out, well actually two keep out signs in the background, give this sense that we are sneaking into this abandoned industrialized area to whitewater kayak. Even though that's not really the case here, this is legal, I promise. I got a few more photos as Ira finished out the lap, but again, they weren't very good or worth sharing. I did, however, catch this as Ira was going up the ramp to reset himself up to the top. The gray pitted concrete contrasts nicely with Ira's colorful boat and gear and sort of layers it in a way, I don't know, it creates this cool effect. I, I think it's cool. After Ira came back up to the top, I pitched this idea of doing like a, a paranormal activity kind of shoot. Since the surrealness of having this whitewater channel in this industrialized area with no water in it was just too much for my creative mind to pass up. These photos are heavily, heavily edited to lean into that vibe. And I mean, I, I had some creative fun with it. And as we were leaving, I caught this final shot of Ira glancing at his watch before we went. I took these shots from a kneeling position with Ira centered in the top middle of the screen. That way the lines of the concrete pathway would lead towards him and imply movement towards me or the viewer. Once all that was done, we packed up, got back in our boats, and began the paddle back out. I know there's not very many actual true white water shots, and if that's what you came for, I'm sorry. But I had a lot of fun, and I was very happy with what I was able to create, despite the lack of white water. Anyways, that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave any tips if you are a camera person, and I will see you all next time. Hope this is good.